Hi there, and welcome to the first video of an introduction to cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be giving you a brief overview and explanation of the Cables GL webpage, where things are, where you can find them, and why you would look for them. So we've just released Cables into public beta, and we've had an overwhelming response and a huge amount of new users, so we decided it was time to update the introductory video. So if you've registered and you log in, you should come to this page here. So I'm just gonna um, go over it um, in short and then go a little bit more in depth to some parts that are really of interest to newcomers. So if I look here, this is like a featured patch. I could right click this now and say open link in new tab. Now, Cables is really unique. Every single published patch is available and it will just load instantly in your browser. Now this patch is interactive. I can click and drag with the left mouse button. I can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and as you can see I can just like play around with it instantly and get an idea of what's happening. So here I can see the user Panda, I can like right click it, Panda is a creator of cables, he's got a lot of amazing stuff and I'm not going to go down too much but he's got a load of patches here that he's like made public and some of them that aren't um, and you could now look at his patches if you liked his visual style and then find some of them. And then you can do this. You can click open in editor. Now the cool part of cables is when somebody has published a patch, you can click open in editor and you can see how they created it and what ops that they used. And this is an amazing way to pick up this new visual programming language, which allows you to create pretty things on the screen without having to be able to code. So I'm going to press F11 to go into full screen. So if you click here in the renderer, we can interact with the patch, but these icons here pop up. So I'm going to grab this here and now I can change the viewport size really fast. Now we see here that this patch isn't my own, so I can clone it and that would allow me to then, it would give me a prompt and say, okay, what would you want to call this patch? And you could just copy the whole patch, save it under your username and then work on from there. So if I click and drag with the right mouse button, I can navigate around the page. If I use the mouse wheel, I can zoom in and out and it will zoom to where the mouse is, as you can see. So if you click and up, parameters appear here. So I'm going to click this up transform and I'm going to just click and drag with the left mouse button. And as you can see, I'm now interacting with a patch. So this is a great way just to open somebody else's patch that really inspired you and just to pull it apart and try and understand how it was working. So I'm going to press F11 and I'm going to close this off. So when you start out with cables, um, you're going to want to have some examples, right? So if we go over here to learn and we click the uh, basic example patches, if you go over here, we've got lots of really cool examples. So if we go to this one, for example, in, out, and in, and it says, click me. So I click it and it shows me this animation. So I think, wow, I want to do that with something of my own. So you can just click open patch and it will open it in the editor mode. And then you're going to get an example of how this works. So here we see the op, in, out, and in. Now, let's say I'd want a little bit more information about this, like what it's doing and how it works. Now I can click view documentation and this will open the documentation, which will give more of an, ex an explanation of what the op does. Animates a trigger from one to zero to one. So you can do this uh, with every single op. So I could go to view tra to um, transform or something like text mesh. And here I can say view example and it will give me an example of the op um, in action, like here. I can say view documentation, and it'll show in the documentation for the op. So this is the great thing about cables. You look at an op, you're curious about it, click it, look at the documentation and the example. Really, really nice and easy. So I'm gonna close this off. So you should go through these and check them out. There's a lot of really cool stuff here, which you can just learn so much from. So I'm gonna close this off. So ops are those little blocks that you saw on the screen and they allow you to generate data or textures or numbers or arrays or just data in general. And you can then plug them into each other and manipulate that data. So at one point you're gonna to wanna to look at the op reference list. So I'm gonna open this and don't worry, it looks massive at the beginning because it is. These are all of our ops. It's like over a thousand. It's huge and it grows and we're working on them all of the time. But sometimes you've got a clear idea of something you want to do. So like, for example, I wanted to do something with math. So if I click math here, 
I'm now only going to see the math ops. So if I scroll down, it just shows me only the maths op math ops. So say I want to work with um, a Boolean. I can click that and it's only going to show me Boolean ops. And we came up with a really cool new feature a while ago called collections. So collections are like an abstraction of things which might be a mix between certain ops. So for example, if I click random, everything we've found so far, which does something random, if it's a random array, if it's a random number, if it's Perl in noise as a texture, they're all like gathered here. So I'm just going to go back. So now I'm going to click cables and go back to, my, uh, to the main page. So this is the basic way that you can navigate around um, the cables page. There's a lot of resources here, but we've made it really nice and simple and easy. It talks for its, it's sorry, it speaks for itself, forum, learn, explore. So you can go to anything here, click it. Great patch here from Bagoof that he brought out a little while ago. Absolutely love this one. And you want to know how this works, like I just showed you, you just open this up in the editor and you just go for it. And this is how you're going to pick up cables and learn it. So that's the end of this first introductory video. I hope this video has been educational and informative. The next video will show you how to get started with creating your own patch, adding some basic ops, getting used to the UI in the editor, and just getting started with making your own cables patches. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.